Hi guys, this is Lily Buart, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a cat slash human. So, what a cat slash human is is it basically looks like this, but it has hair. So I know that I mean like not like cat hair, but like human hair. I know that sounds very strange, but they're actually very cute and very fun to draw. Because you can describe them, well, not describe them, but <laughs> draw them with, like, specific personalities, and it's really easy to accomplish it. So, the first thing that you're going to need to draw when you draw a human cat is you're going to need to just draw, like, this basic, like, U shape. I swear, did my pencil just break on me? You know what? We don't need pencils, we have pens. So you're gonna just draw this like U shape, like that, like a curved U, almost like a weird upside down rainbow-ish shape. Anyways, then from there, go from one of these points and just make a curved line about like, and it should be about as big as your fingernail, the space right here. And then do that to the other side. And instead of drawing a line in between, like if you're doing a boy, you can do like um, sharp hair. Like that's something that I like to do. Or if you're doing a girl, you can do like smooth hair or curly hair. And um, this time I actually want to attempt to draw a boy human cat because I don't do those much. So I usually make the boy human cats kind of look like my brother. And my brother has this short choppy hair. Well, not short, definitely not short, but he used to have like this choppy hair. So, draw in your cat human's hair, and then the way to make the eyes is just draw a basic oval, like a tiny little oval like that, and fill it in. Of course, we're going to need the other eye, but in this case, his hair is covering the eye, so I'm not going to do the second eye, but you would do the second eye about right here. And just how to make the mouth is kind of simple. Just do a little J shape like that. And then like a backwards J. Or almost like a curved L shape. And then if you're doing an open mouth, draw a U going from here. And about to the middle of this J shape. To draw the tongue inside, you just do a simple curve. Now, to put the openings in the ears, because, you know, that'd be impossible to hear with just skin on your ears and no hole in it, because then you wouldn't be able to hear. So, to do, to, so to give them, <laughs> oh my gosh, to give them ears that properly work, um, what you gotta do is you draw a curved line about, like, ooh, how do I put this? Mm. Just draw the same shape that you did on the outside, but on the inside and smaller, like that. And then do that to the other side. So that's very simple, just the way to draw the face. But if you wanna add like more detail, you can do these little lines in the hair that make the hair look more, kind of more real. You draw these little lines in the hair like that, it's little shoddy lines like that. So to make the neck, um, just do two lines right beneath the mouth, like that. Okay, um, how to draw the shirt is actually very simple. Um, so what you're gonna do is draw one tiny line going out from the neck and do the same thing on the other side and then do a curve like this, connecting those two lines. And on this top part, also do a curve connecting those two lines. Ooh, this is, this is harder than I thought to describe. 
Okay, to make like the sleeves, what you do is you just make another curve, like a curvous shape like that. And then if you want to draw one arm waving, because I kind of want to do that, draw a straight line going out to about like to about diagonal of the tip of the ear like that maybe a little bit longer like just a teeny bit longer there we go and then draw a very very similar line right next to it about your finger space apart just like that and then if you want to add a cuff to the sleeve um, just draw a line connecting the two, connecting the two lines, a line connecting the two lines. Huh, that was a tongue twister. And then draw like two little lines on top of that line and connect those. And drawing the paw is also extremely simple. It's just this big curve like this. And then to draw like the back of the paw, like the palm part of the paw, um, this is gonna be very hard to see, so I'll show it right here. Uh, draw like, like this teardropish shape with little ovals, with four ovals, two right here and two on the other side. And just repeat that, but inside the paw. So the teardrop shape and four little ovals. And there's your little cat paw waving. And then to complete this arm, what you're going to do is draw a, like, upside downish J shape, like, like that. And then just continue it down about an inch more. And then continue this line down about an inch more. And connect the two the way that we connected these two lines by just drawing a line to connect the two lines. And then the two little lines and the line connecting those lines. This may be more confusing than it sounds to me. Oh my gosh. <sighs> then to draw the paw on this one, since the hand's down, it's going to look a little bit different. So draw this like little J shape, tiny little partial J shape, and then add a U at the end, a U shape, and then do another J shape. connecting to that U. So two J shapes and a U. <laughs> and then just uh, to make like the little paw lines, the finger lines, I don't know what they're even called. Mm. But just draw two little lines like that. To do the body, it's kind of hard if you're doing like a detailed body, but I'm just gonna show you how to do a very simple body. So draw a line, line, a line, a line going directly down from this line and this line. So one line going directly down here and another right there. Then just do the same thing that we did to connect the cuffs. Draw a line connecting these two. But we're not going to add the cuff part. Just draw the line connecting these two. Then, um, if you're doing shorts, um, what you do is you draw, like, um, yeah, you do, like, um, one line going straight down from, like, here, another line on the other side going straight down, then draw a line about almost halfway, and another line going almost halfway, so there's a small gap between them. Then, do two diagonal lines that connect about, about your pinky space away from the shirt. Then, to draw the legs, you basically just do it the same way that you drew the arms. Draw two lines, two lines about a finger width apart. And then, to do a foot, what you do is, ooh, this is getting hard to see. Do like another like partial, like do this little curve. Do a little curve shape like that. Do a little U shape. And then a weird other curve shape. And then add the two 
two little lines to make the paw indentations. That's not what they're called, is it? I'll have to look it up because I'm just saying crap now. <laughs> and then repeat, repeat those steps for this leg. Two lines going down, a little J-ish curve, a U, and another J-ish curve. Ooh, that foot was bigger. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and then the two little lines. So to draw the tail, it's actually very easy. Do like, if you want a fluffy tail, then do like, uh, do these little lines, like do little lines like this. So do those little lines, but closer together and make a line of them going directly down about to where his knees would be. Then add a little U-shaped curve, so like that, and then just go directly across in the space between the legs, and then go up. And then to finish it off, add a little U-ish shape, and that's your tail. And of course, we can't forget to sign this. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye!